late September 2001 and already a season of mixed fortunes for Everton who'd briefly led the Premier League at one point but they came into this match in poor form having lost their last three. Visitors West Ham United arrived all the more confident for their recent success against Newcastle United. The season though was still in its early stages and the blue half of Merseyside remained optimistic. 32,000 inside Goodison for this one. To try and stop the rot, Walter Smith gave Thomas Radzinski his first start. In midfield, he was hoping the inspiration of Paul Gascoigne and the physical presence of Thomas Gravison would hold sway. A year earlier, Paolo Di Canio had made headlines with one of the season's great sporting gestures by refusing a goal-scoring opportunity. He wasn't planning any further favours today. Rigobert Song replaced the suspended Thomas Repka. Don Hutchison came up against his former club. Now in his fourth year as Everton manager, there was significant pressure on Walter Smith to deliver, while Glenn Roder was embarking on his first full season as manager of the Hammers. Your match commentator is John Champion. A pleasant autumnal afternoon as Paul Durkin blows his whistle and gets us underway. Everton beaten in their last three games, but with an early chance here for Kevin Campbell, which is blocked by Rigobert Song. West Ham fresh from their first win of the season last weekend. 3-0 over Newcastle. Both these sides come here after awkward experiences in the League Cup in the week. The defeats on penalties, Everton to Crystal Palace, West Ham with the hands of Reading. Everton with seven points from their six games so far, sitting in 11th place in the Premier League table. It's over hit by Steve Watson. And the travelling West Ham support making itself heard already. Here's Winterburn. Alexanderson quickly past Winterburn. Ratzinski! It's come loose and Shevel's been forced to clear. Thomas Ratzinski making his first start for Everton. So close to marking that occasion with a goal. Searching run from Alexanderson beyond Winterburn and Hutchison. And when it came loose, Sebastian Schemmel was on hand. Smith in his fourth season in charge of Everton. He was 16th last season with 42 points. It was less than comfortable for them. Canuto. Oh, Gascoigne came in slightly recklessly and he's gone down clutching his knee. And here's an early concern for Everton. Freddie Canute is in the wars as well, but Paul Gascoigne came in swung that right leg and seemed to stub it into the turf and has jarred the right knee faces of concern Bill Kenwright, Sir Philip Carter and Walter Smith Gascoigne still receiving treatment so Everton playing with 10 effectively for the time being Redzinski Kevin Campbell It's West Ham's turn. Depenio's through ball comes to nothing. And Everton have got to make a decision here about Paul Gascoigne. Judging from his body language, he wants to come back on. But the Everton staff seem reluctant. Shades of an FA Cup final all those years ago and the very reckless challenge that day on Gary Charles that ruled him out for so long. Self-inflicted injury. Here's Winterburn. Gascoigne walking quite gingerly back towards the halfway line on that far side. Accompanied by the newly appointed physio here, Rob Riles. the debate can take place as to whether Gascoigne will, can, should continue. And the consensus seems to be that they need to make a change. A 
And so Mark Pembridge is going to come on. Number 11, Mark Pembridge, replacing number 18, Paul Gascoigne. After only five minutes of play. Not the start that Walter Smith wanted. He's learning about the severity of the problem from Rob Riles. Song back on Merseyside. And stint with Liverpool. Canute. An elusive player at his best, Freddie Canute, the signing from Lyon. David Weir away. Michael Carrick. Canute has stayed wide. Sinclair, Hutchison, and De Canio deflected over. A very warm reception when he came out today, Paolo De Canio, after that remarkable act of sportsmanship here last year where he declined the opportunity to score the winning goal because an opponent was injured. Canute. Times for Walter Smith. Gravison. Matinsky beaten in the air by Schemmel. Harry Naismith will try and make something of it. Recruited to add bite to the Everton midfield and a goal scoring threat, too. Everton's confidence dented by that 4 1 defeat at Old Trafford, a 3 1 loss in the derby to Liverpool, 1 0 defeat at Blackburn, three losses in a row. And this after that bright start to the season, seven points from the opening three games and top position for 48 hours at least. Back in mid-table. It's lofted by Carrick. Xavier. Back whence it came with Michael Carrick. De Canio. Campbell. Pembridge. And the Dane, Gravison. Steve Watson. Canute. West Ham have failed to score in three of their five Premier League outings so far this season. This is promising though with Schemmel. Oh, and De Canio! Well, they couldn't have hoped for a much more presentable chance than that. It was neatly worked. Schemmel's ball in, and it just needed a touch. Agonisingly wide. Over front. Evo Sevilla. Difficult for him to hide after a mistake. Cambridge. Bretzinski. Campbell. Better for Everton. It's Thomas Rudzinski. Thomas Gravison. Song! Caught it slip off the outside edge. A smile of relief as much as anything and a frown of disapproval from the bench. Schemmel. Sinclair. 
Canute. It wasn't as tight as it might have been. Space and time by Xavier. It's a luxury you can't really afford, Freddy Canute, too frequently. Smith had so much success with Rangers. He began as the youth team coach at Dundee United. Glenn Roder in his first full season in charge of West Ham. Only the ninth manager in the club's history. Campbell. Pushed aside by Gravison. Canadian Radzinski. Probing centre, and it's still in play. Gravison. Alexanderson, Campbell! That's a really well-worked goal. And it tells an awful lot to the persistence and concentration of Thomas Radzinski. Archie Knox and Walter Smith delighted with a lead established in the final minute of this first half. Alexanderson in initially. The and the header firm and downward. Nine, and scoring Campbell. from Kevin Campbell. The referee has also indicated that there will be three minutes of time. His fourth to be of the season. Everton have shown greater ambition than West Ham on the whole. So maybe on that basis alone they deserve their lead. for half time and a different feel a different mood thanks to Kevin Campbell's goal in the 45th minute of this first half dispatched well from Alexanderson's cross Everton 1 West Ham 0 West Ham have lost every away game so far four in total and their only goal has been a Paolo Di Canio penalty at Elland Road against Leeds trend that they need to buck. Here's Radzinski though for Everton. It's been a lively presence, the man signed from Anderlecht. Plenty of international experience with Canada. Winterburn. Alexanderson. Radzinski. Foul by Winterburn on Alexanderson. And an opportunity for Mark Pembridge to use that trusty left foot of his to swing this in. It's Pembridge. <laughs> mess Hutchison who scored enough goals in Everton blue on this ground now contributes to their cause again but playing in claret and blue delivery was excellent from Pembridge but his lock and Hutchison confounded each other's attempts to clear sold by Walter Smith to Sunderland, Don Hutchison has helped establish a 2-0 Everton lead not been a happy hunting ground since he left, he was sent off here with Sunderland last season De Canio the head of Naismith to throw gives his all to whatever cause he's pursuing 
nifty bit of business to move him on by Walter Smith if he's still going to score for Everton. De Canio. And Canute. Top of the bar. The second of Jordan Goldheim at 52 minutes and 35 of seconds. 52 and shake of the head. 35. Another striker recruited from France. Put out of play by Pembridge. There's Canute. Weir. There's a foul. Freddie Canute penalised. Well, how long this time? So many absences through injury, Paul Gascoigne. Cambridge. Paul Gerrard. Never played with any flow today, West Ham. Carrick. Gravison. Radzinski to his left. Campbell now to his right, but Gravison still got it and he scored! West Ham backed off and backed off and invited him to have a pop. And his response has in all probability put this game beyond West Ham now. Plenty of opportunity for a challenge to be made. They jockeyed him and jockeyed him. And then he outfoxed them. Created the angle. Used it perfectly. First goal in over a year for Thomas Gravison. Everton well on their way. West Ham who failed to win here on their last seven visits. And a hefty defeat is looming. Very much like handball, but Paul Durkin was much closer than any of our cameras. Courtois. Here's header. Smith beaten by the bounce and Sinclair high and wide. It's a fruitless afternoon for West Ham United. What efforts they've had have generally been from long range and largely have been inaccurate. Puts that save into the useful category. Shaka his lock. These two sides were 
Level on points at the end of last season in the Premier League table. And plenty between them today. Javier with the effort. This was both inventive and dangerous from Thomas Gravison. Not the best out of his lot. Anderson. It's Campbell! And it's straight at his lock. And Everton are looking the likelier to score the next goal as well as we enter the final quarter of an hour. in expectation here's Watson and again and it's four for Everton Steve Watson scores his first Premier League goal for the club right hand of his lock carried the first effort could do nothing about the second Buccaneering run from an overlapping fullback brings due reward. And West Ham here are sinking without trace. By the armpit of their goalkeeper. A man given to easy smiles, Walter Smith, even in this situation. De Canio. Trying to create an opportunity for himself. Hit Weir. Alexander. Get as quickly as they possibly can. And that process starts now. Handshake between Glenn Roder and Walter Smith. Archie Knox and Paul Goddard, the two assistants. As one side of the game, as you're likely to see, applause from Bill Kenwright up in the director's box and from right around the 32,000 crowd here at Goodison. Goals from Campbell, a Hutchison own goal, Gravison, Watson and latterly Thomas Radzinski. It was a stroll in the sunshine for Everton, who are definitely back on track. The Hammers are struggling, beaten here at Goodison by five goals to nil. 
A magnificent performance by Everton, who were finally able to shake themselves out of that poor run of form. But what a disastrous return to Goodison it was for Don Hutchison in particular. West Ham fans were able to take heart from their team's performances later on that season. Under Glenn Roder, the Hammers managed to lift themselves up to seventh place. Everton, though, finished just above the relegation zone. Another desperately disappointing outcome for a club with such a proud and distinguished history.